to our channel. I am Tarnisha. And I'm Dominique. And today's topic, we, we're doing another Keeping It Real with TND. And today we'll be talking about um, how not to settle for less in relationships. Right. Um, so we have gotten a lot of DMs and a lot of people asking us just to speak on relationships in general. And um, we just had to come up with something that we both could relate to right. and where we could give something out to you guys. Um, so I'm not currently in a relationship, so we didn't want to talk about, or my sister is. Wait, I was going to say, you saying it like, <laughs> I'm not, like I'm in a relationship. Yeah. Don't be giving these but, people no ideas. Yeah, but we're not we're in a relationship. A right. Right. But we're just giving you guys like, um, our experience or right. our advice based on past you know, relationships. Things things and like just how not to settle when you're in a relationship or you're looking towards being in a relationship with somebody. Right. But first thing first, don't forget, stop what you're doing right now. If you haven't already, go ahead and join the family. Hit that subscribe button. Yes. Hit the thumb, give it a thumbs up. Like we say, always comment down below. Tell us what you think, you know, tell us other topics yeah, you guys want to talk man. about talk about. And don't forget to turn on that bell notification. So every time we post a video, you'll get notified. Yes. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I guess we can start off by just talking about how as women and I mean we're speaking to women and men in general, right. but I want to speak more towards the women because a lot of times we tend to settle for less. And we tend to settle for less than what we deserve. And it's like, you, you're you always in a position where it seems like as the woman, you're supposed to have it all together and you're supposed to bring everything to the table. Right. And then the man is expected to just have less. You know, it, it seems like it always plays out that way. It's always usually the woman is bringing more to the table. Right. And, you know, certain men, certain, some men have standards, but right. I say it's a lot of men out there that really don't have standards. Right. And it's like when you come with standards and you come with certain things, and they it's like, oh, yeah, it's intimidating. Too. Or they like, oh, she bougie or she thinks she better than somebody just right. because you have standards or you have certain things that you want them to adhere to, which is only right if you're going to be in a relationship with somebody. So I think the main key is communication. You right. have to be able to communicate properly with whoever you're dating or whoever you're in a relationship with. Like, that's the number one key. Right. And for me, like, being in a relationship, I love a secure, confident man. Mm -hmm. I, I cannot stand men with no confidence you know right. I, i've seen things where like um i remember one time this guy was telling me like okay i love fashion you know what i'm saying and he knew that before beforehand because we was friends before you know we got into anything serious right and one thing about it is you're not going to tell me how i should dress and how i shouldn't dress and right. for one i'm always presenting myself in a malleable way right. it might be sexy it might be corporate it might be whatever but it just depends on how i feel right so he was insecure within himself like so when i go out with my friends or something like you know why you gotta put that on you know right. you know it's showing too much sir i had this on when i met you so it's like what's the difference <laughs> right. you know what i'm saying don't tell me what i can what i can wear what, right. what that like it's a turn off like and i feel like a lot of times controlling too. right me and the things that y'all do to get a woman, y'all don't keep that up when y'all got the exactly. one. Like it fades exactly. away. Like mm -hmm. you have to keep that get same. Comfortable. Right. Yes, they get, get comfortable. comfortable. You get lazy. Like that same aggression, that same three point, that same crossover you had. You need to have a. Uh, you need to have yeah, a deeper three. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like for me, that's how I feel. Yeah, like you real. know what I'm saying. Like I and feel as like women, I feel like I didn't even cut you off, but as women, I feel like. You know, we are partially to blame for that because right. we allow the men to get comfortable right. and we don't keep them on their toes in order for them to step their game up. It's right. just like, oh, okay, now you got me, so we're good right here. No, right. it's gonna have to be that constant behavior, right. or you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna slide to the left and step right. on out, you know, and, and that's just how it is. And my thing is, you know, as women too, we a lot of things that men do it's our fault because we settle mm -hmm. for so much and so much is the norm like right. i had this person tell me they've been in a relationship for 15 years okay and her boyfriend they, they're not married so that's flag one mm -hmm. for me i'm not going to be in a relationship over a decade and i don't have like you you should know within t within two years or a year if you want to spend the rest of right. your life with somebody like why would you be with somebody for that long and they and they're you not showing no you goals no towards goals towards they're right. not even showing you that you know say they want to take it to the next level with you mm -hmm. and she stated that you know well girl you know all men cheat no 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 <laughs> like we and gotta, we gotta, yeah, we have to stop that saying that like, all men do not cheat crazy. i know for sure i have i've encountered good men that don't cheat but it was just at the wrong time don't you hate that like when you yeah. encounter somebody that's like he was so husband potential but it was at the time i wasn't there to right you, you know what i'm saying at the time. but i feel like you know if it was me and god would have made it work but 
I, that, to say that I'm saying like it is good men out here that don't cheat. Like yeah, we gotta stop saying, oh, we're in our twenties. You know, you know, men gotta go through their whole stage. No, it's faithful men out mm -hmm. here that's willing to be with one woman and one woman only. Right, I feel so like I'm for that. right. I feel mm -hmm. like I bring a lot to the table. Like I, I feel like I know that I bring enough to the table where my guy, he not even gonna feel comfortable looking at no other chick right. like that and because he know what he got at home. You know what I'm saying? He know what 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 he. You know what I'm saying? Half of the time, it's either probably some looks. Or it's something that they lack in a right. relationship. Like I have a guy friend, shout out to Tony if you're watching this, I love you so much. Ladies, it's important to have a guy friend that you don't have no relationships with so you can get a guy. It's so hard though. But I found one. <laughs> Tony, it's I love so hard. I found, I found one. Tony because I found it, one. It's hard. It's like a needle in a haystack for real. Cause yeah. homies always want to turn to lovers. Right. It's like stay in your lane, stay in your zone. And people are like, that's why y'all never have no men, because y'all always friending. Like, no, you can have a male yeah. friend and it not be, you know what I'm saying, any type of intimate relationship. Right. Like, and guys just don't understand that, oh, she curved me or she right. put me in a friend zone. It's like, just be a friend. Like, maybe, that's, be a that's, friend? maybe that's the part that you need to play. Right. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, it's it's important. Like, even as males, you need a, a friend girl that's, so you can understand a both sides. A, a woman's perspective. Yeah. Right. You need you to be understand to. both And like, Tony always tell me, you know what I'm saying? He encouraged me, let me know, you know, you beautiful dude, don't settle for less. Right. And he tell me, he was like that, you know what I'm saying? I, I intimidate a lot of men. And yeah, that's true. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He was like, you know, you got yourself together. You're not selling for nice less. Today. Most girls are, are broken. Most women don't give themselves time to heal. And mm -hmm. men, after they came out of a toxic relationship, right. like you You're need time to, to find not. yourself. Mm -hmm. Like for me, you know what I'm saying? It's been a while since I've had, since I've dated a while, a while. And I, I basically just worked on myself because right. I don't want to bring insecurities. I don't yes. want to bring things that's dealing with me mm -hmm. to their relationship that make it toxic because it might unfair. be a good dude mm -hmm. and I mess it up mm -hmm. because of things either a guy from the past or just something in my personal life that I haven't took time um, and mentally dealt with right. and brought it to it towards him. Yeah, and I just want to add on to that because I was just about to touch on that and say make sure that you're whole first before you go out here and you try to date somebody like i can't stress that enough and i can say that because i have done that before i have gotten out of a relationship and thought i was healed and hopped to something else mm -hmm. and it's actually been a good person a good dude and i look back like dang i kind of you know so i kind of fucked him over mm -hmm. and as a woman to be able to admit that and admit right. that you were the toxic one that's that's powerful. that's powerful and that's something that you can look at and you can evaluate and you say okay what can i do going forth and it's like you have to take that time to heal mm -hmm. and just because you take nine months off and you don't date Anybody and you don't talk to nobody that's not healing you have to do the work you have to see what is it in me that's constantly attracting you know what I'm saying these toxic people mm -hmm. or attracting stuff at the wrong time you know what in me is broken or that's not fixed or that I'm holding on from uh, holding on to from the past that I haven't got rid of because you like my sister said you can get in a relationship this could be your divine connection this could mm -hmm. be your soulmate your husband and you can literally tarnish it because you have so much baggage you have so much stuff and then you bring it to the table to them and it's like it's unfair to that person that's already whole and healed for them to have to deal with your you know insecurities your trust issues your lack of confidence it's unfair to other people so make sure that you heal first make sure that you're whole and and that's a part of not selling a relationship as well because if you want a great relationship then I feel like you have to heal yourself and if you don't heal you just hop into something and I feel like you're settling you're yeah. settling within yourself you're settling within relationships and it's just not fair and it's not going to turn out right and it's going to be a repeated cycle and most people don't know how to take time out like mm -hmm. it was to it was I, I was at a point in my life where I didn't talk to like no guys like mm -hmm. period like you know what I'm saying they 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 text me or whatever I didn't entertain and they eventually stopped texting me because I needed that time for myself like I didn't right. want to talk to nobody I wanted just to focus on Tarnisha and love myself and you know saying find my flaws and fix them you know what I'm right. saying because don't no man want no insecure woman right don't exactly. no man want no toxic broken woman that a real keep, man don't right man. real man real they man keep don't. bringing up old stuff <laughs> right. trust issues and another thing if you don't trust somebody it's no it's no need to be in a relationship it's with no them point. like mm -hmm. it's like it's popular now for people to, they're in relationships like to make it work for the kid even marriages like yes. I've known people that be in marriages and do not love their husband or in love with them no more don't trust them what they're doing for the kids sake which you're damaging the kids because right, they the see kids it, see that, that. And, it's, and it's basically going to be a generation curse because those kids are going to do that behavior that same, of what they saw mm -hmm, you know so it's cycle. not healthy like if you're not if you're in something that you feel like you don't know how to get out of you can't get out of you just have to pray you have to get tired and fed right. up and we have to stop settling as women like we 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 gotta stop being in these 10 15 20 year long relationships 
and not expecting nothing more. Right, like, you gotta I'm gonna be that. honest with you. I'm not even gonna be in a relationship with no guy for no 10 years and I don't have a ring. Like, the yeah. ring is the goal, the family mm -hmm. building. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, what are we, what are we out here doing? Right. Like, we can't, I'm, I'm not. Like, I, I'm not doing it. It's like, for you, what, I think, I don't believe in second chances. I'm sorry, yeah. you know, people may say whatever, but I feel like, if if you get if you have the opportunity to be in my presence, which is a blessing, and mm -hmm. I say it in the most humblest way ever. Right. If you have the opportunity to be in my blessing, I actually open up and you know what I'm saying took and you give in, myself to you, yeah. give myself to you, I and agree. you mess up. It it don't even have to be cheating. It can be I'm not even just yeah, talking about relationship. Yeah, it just, can be a lot of things. It can be a lot of different things. It can be like disrespect. Right. Ignore, you know, lack it can of be, romance, if you right. like romantic type of thing, right. it's a lack of romance, like fellas and women too. Like, I'm not just speaking just to the fellas and mm -hmm. bashing the fellas and saying y'all not romantic, ladies. You can be romantic too, but right. only if he deserves it. You know, right. you can't just expect certain things and you're not king material, you're not hugging material. You can't expect those type of things. You have to, you don't get side yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you hubby material, you get hubby, you know what I'm saying? You but you get that treatment, and that too, oh, like yeah. ladies. <laughs> Y'all gotta stop giving these dudes so mm -hmm. much beforehand. They're not gonna put no ring on it. You doing like everything as a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I mean, you doing everything. You doing wifely duties as a girlfriend. And sometimes not even a girlfriend. Just right. A I mean, it's a situation. You yeah. doing all this stuff beforehand, Flip like in, earning his clothes. clothes. Like I'm not saying a relationship that's not a problem, but it's like women go to the next level. Yes. They give too much. You gotta give. Mm -hmm. You gotta have. You gotta give God something to wonder about. Like, hmm, right. if I if I do this, what will unlock this? Or if right. I if I do this, how will she react to this? Like, right. you have dating is a game of winning somebody over. That's right. just that's just right. what it is. And some dudes hate that. Like, oh, I hate I'm in this stage where I gotta win her over. If you are looking to um, be with this woman for the rest of your life, you should be looking to win her over every single day, right. every day of the week. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's just something that you should strive to. And that's a part of having a divine connection and being equally yoked as well. Because there's so many people that's in relationships and they're not equally yoked. Right. You're, you're, you're at two different levels. And okay, I so I'm it. glad you said that. Yeah. I'm sorry. So how do you feel about if, if you're with somebody and you make triple the amount of money they make? Mm -hmm. And they don't make as much, and y'all have a joint account. Um, I don't know, cause I I don't feel like money is everything. Um, but I definitely feel like I, I don't know. That's marriage. Yeah, but that's what. That's more like. I was talking marriage. to somebody at work about uh -huh. that, but I would just that goes with equally yoke. Like I'm trying to figure out, like, so if you basically you're an entrepreneur, you're a millionaire, mm -hmm. right? Right. And you're, I think it just has to be a mutual thing. Trying to pursue you, yes. yes. Yeah, I don't want to make it about money, but kind yeah. of for me, you it it, it has to be banking. equally in every area. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you know financially, it's always gonna be somebody that's gonna make more mm -hmm. than the other person. So I think it just has to be like. But that, I'm not that gonna that take care of the person. Like no, because I feel like most women like not saying everybody, but yeah. I know a couple women I know. It's like they the breadwinners, and I'm just like, Ugh, I just. That part of me knowing that I'm taking care of man makes me yeah. cringe. Like yeah. you know, you need to hustle. You need right. to you need to go back to school. You need to do something. Right. Like you know what I'm saying. You need and to as a man, you should want to provide. You know, yeah. but that's a whole different topic. Yeah, it for is. Another day. I, I just I just wanted to know what you thought of it because I never yeah. asked you about it. I just but, feel like I feel like first and foremost, you have to be yoked mentally. Right. Like the mental status, it just it, it has to be in air. I feel like everything else will follow. And that's what like that with, with men with me. Yeah. I got knowledge that'll blow your brains. Right. You know what I'm saying? Most stuff that women settle for that excite them, mm -hmm. it don't excite me. Right. Like I'm not gonna lie, like I'm I'm a tough cookie, but I'm worth it though. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like most stuff that these women settle for is is unacceptable. And yeah. it's like um so many men like I had I had a guy tell me, you know, that he that he was intimidated by me in a good way. Like uh -huh. it made him want to it made him yeah, yeah. it made him want to get on his yeah. shit like dang if I, I can't get her like this, this means something wrong with me. Exactly. So that's how you should look yeah. at it. That's how you should look at it. Whoever right. you dating or you trying to date, if they don't give you that potential to boss up and, and you look at them in that situation, what they're doing every day, and it doesn't give you no no type of motivation, doesn't stir nothing up in your spirit, make you feel like you want to do something different, then you don't need to pursue it. You just don't need to pursue it. Right. Point blank period. Because we're in a time, we're in a very very fragile time and period where it's it's no time to be wasted. Like it's right. so much going on around us. Like at this point, you need to have a partner and you need to be serious about it. And y'all need to encourage each other. Y'all need to motivate each other. And if you're in a relationship, don't 
settle in their relationship just because you think you've been with that person for a long time, especially if you're in your 20s. Really, I don't even believe in the age thing because you can start over 50, 60, whatever age you right. want to start over at. But especially in your 20s, like you figuring things out, you figuring yourself out. I would say just find yourself and don't even worry about, you know what I'm saying, just being in a relationship unless that right. person comes to you right. and they're very serious about it. Don't settle for anything. Don't settle just because they take you on age, a date here and your age. Yeah, yeah, or you have conversations. Kids, right? Because I know a lot of women like, some women don't get um, the attention as they want. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some, I mean, we're blessed. I mean, to whatever. I mean, we're beautiful. Mm -hmm. I know we get attention, but some women don't get attention. Mm -hmm. So it's like whatever dude get them attention, they like, oh, yeah, I got to yeah. Off the wall. And you yeah. can't do that because they gon' they literally gon' skirt skirt. Right. Like they gon' they gon' take <laughs> yeah. you down through there. Mm -hmm. So our whole thing they can is, recognize that. They right. can recognize men, that. Men, and that's what I'm saying. If you get yourself together, mm -hmm. men know the devil use people in shape all different sure kinds. Like a man yeah. can tell if a woman is. Vulnerable. Intimidated, he can mm -hmm. tell if she's broken. He's, mm -hmm. He can tell if she's. He can. A, a man can look at a woman and tell everything mm -hmm. with your clothes on. So just imagine, you know what I'm saying? That's just that's you that's deep, right. You right. know, they so you gotta that and play off. You know, right. any type of emotion. So that's why you gotta have anything. yourself together because yeah, to. I can look at a man like it's so many like dudes be wondering how I know certain stuff and I don't even right. tell them. How you know that? I mean, I can look straight through you. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you. You know what I'm saying? I can tell what you want. yourself out. You can look at people and you can, God will give you a gift of a designer spirit. Right. If you don't know what a designer spirit is, then just look it up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Thank God we it. have that. We yeah, were chosen. Exactly. When mm -hmm. we say the chosen sisters, we really mean it. Like, we're chosen right. from God it's for not real. Like, mm -hmm. I can look. I can look at a person and tell when they bull crap and like right. and everything. Like and it, it just you know it's a blessing because some women gotta go through it to see yeah. it. But you know my thing is we just saying don't settle, ladies or yes. men. Like men don't have settle. some standards. Don't be out here with it. Like at some age you gotta grow up. Nobody wants like and my brother. I'm let's talk about him. So he gonna say <laughs> he ain't never getting married. I ain't even gonna throw you too much underneath the bus, bro. But you know you out of there. Like dudes. <laughs> Just hear his, just hear his perspective. I'm just yeah. like, bro. So you mean to tell me you just gonna be out here sleeping with all these girls, have all these babies? Like you gonna right. get home and then y'all just playing y'all see. I don't get that y'all. That's I mean that's probably a different topic. But then y'all just going around here playing y'all sees and these women. And I be looking like these women don't be worth nothing. Yeah. Don't have no type of standards. Don't have nothing going for themselves. Don't have nothing to their name. Mm -hmm. And that says a lot about you as a man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And then they want to come like, I want a boss. I want this. I want that. But sir, you, sir. you look what you put your teeth on. Literally, like, you literally <laughs> smash real. You literally talking about babysitter. Like, like and can't nobody take you serious when you like this. Right. Yeah. And I, I, I look at, I look at a lot of factors when talking to the guys. And mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna say too much because I ain't gonna let y'all get up one on me. Right. But I look at. <laughs> A lot of things like how you treat your mother, how you mm -hmm. listen to your family. That's very big. You know what I'm saying? Just just the simple things. These are simple things that we look over. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To to see the qualifications of a good man. Right. You know, it's just a simple. A lot of times you're looking in flesh anyway. Right. And you're not looking in the spirit. So right. I mean that plays a big factor in too. Right. That's yeah. that's true. But um, I guess we're going to go ahead and wrap this video yeah. up. Thank you to everybody for Thank your support. You. Thank you so much for watching. Before we end this video, there is a sale going on on dstackstobrand.com. And it's $20 off all my Virgos. Um, my sister's birthday is September the 19th. Yeah. So this sale was inspired by her. So it's $20 off. So that means that the Stacks kits are $40. So you want to head on over to www.dstackstobrand.com and make sure you shop my lashes. And we'll see you in the next video. Like right, right now. now. Yeah, like right now. Like right now. Like, you know, don't even play. Like, if you ain't <laughs> No stacks kits on your eyes. What you doing? You tripping. You tripping. <laughs> but thank you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Right. Bye. Bye.